This business is not easy, everybody knows that. It's a challenging job. I mean, anybody who wants to do it can do it. You're not going to go anywhere else that you can make this kind of money. Now, when you talk about a commission-only job, the sky's the limit because you get what you put in. If you close a million-dollar loan with a salary, you're only going to make so much money on that loan. But if you close a million-dollar loan commission-only, you can make 40 grand. Most people, they just go. They just leave. Johnny was the only really one that fought, fought, Johnny and fought the in the beginning. This business is not easy. Like. Especially if you don't have sales experience. Like, it's not going to happen overnight. It's going to take time, especially if you don't have previous sales experience. But if you have a long term vision for yourself, you will build a book of business that just pays you on repeat. Loans, money comes in all the time. Cash flow, cash flow. People need you because you sell money. Yanni had that same line We're selling money. Everybody needs money. I was like, oh, it's a no brainer. I might as well give it a shot. Thank you guys for everything, really. Thank you, Lynette, and Julie, and Cynthia. Thank you for being amazing. Yeah. I'm here. I'm right next to you. Actually, yeah, right next to you. I've been with Dina Yanni <laughs> since the beginning. We started all this. What's up? I had to go to the office and I'm stuck with Nathaniel in the back. Our nanny quit. I was like, you know, the first daycare I see, I'm just gonna drop him off. So I came to his wife, I was like, No, we have This is a daycare and everything is cool. Can you take my son? I give her a backpack, I give my son. I'm like, here, this is my son, I'll come back by the end of the day. I've been in this industry since 99 when I was in Vegas. I worked there for like, I think, 10 years in the mortgage industry in Vegas. And then when the market crashed, I took a break from it. I did something else. And then when I moved here back from New York to LA, that's where I, uh, you know, I met Ghani also after. I got laid off from Wells Fargo. I was an underwriter. So she asked him, what do you do for a living? He goes, he does loans. I'm like, I do loans, I used to do loans. So kind of connect. I went to his office and sat with him. Yanni used to dress up in suits, by the way, back then. Every day. Every day in Every suits. Day? It's easy to have a dream and set some goals, but staying motivated, that's a whole different story. Some of you may be smart, educated, and experienced in what you do, but what keeps you going? I sat behind this glass door because you have experience. <laughs> How much experience do you have? I said, I told him I used to work at Wells Fargo, Bank of America, and all, all that stuff. Look no, at no, no, no. Start Monday. The reality. Friday, yeah. Let's do the reality. He was sitting in the daycare the first time yeah, we met. Of course. And I walked in. And I'm like old gangster style, you know, coming in and then we had this look in our eyes and I was, that's my guy. Uh, uh, that's it. Uh, that's our connection. What? HML is having a baby. Oh. Zoe's pregnant! <laughs> Why I'm not the father? What? I'm not the father. Oh, a little Every girl that sat in this chair got pregnant for some reason. I don't know. Raz. It's not me. All that knowledge. It's a girl. Boy. I need a boy. When she was pregnant with Natalie, I remember I went to the doctor. I was like, listen, if it's a girl, just don't call me. Oh, is that why you don't text no. me when I'm not home? Is that why you don't text me when you're in Vegas? <laughs> My doctor, she's Persian and she told me, you know, I have Israeli clients and it has happened to me that we're in the office and I, I need to see the sex of the baby and if I say it's a girl, the husband leaves the room. Oh my God. And doesn't come back for the future visit. Because like they want to a boy. Now that a boy and a girl, the girl is like, so much better, seriously. <laughs> the boy is ignoring me. <laughs> Zoe is one of the biggest fighters I've seen. Mm -hmm. The things she's been through here is something I didn't see a lot of people survive. Most people, they just go, they just leave. I think Johnny was the only one, he was, because he started making money within a few months, but Johnny was the only really one that fought, fought, Johnny and fought in the beginning. This business is not easy, like, Especially if you don't have sales experience. Like, I don't recommend doing loans if you have zero sales, sales experience. Like, you should get sales experience elsewhere before you get into this business because in sales, you're running your own business, right? There's no cap 
on the income that you can make. It's based off of your performance. So I had a quick start when I joined because I already had like seven, eight years of sales experience selling different products and services. And I also had marketing experience too, so I know how to run advertisements. I know how to generate leads for myself and new leads are the lifeblood of any business or any salesperson. So number one, you have to know how to generate leads. And if you don't know how to do that and you have to learn how to do it, it's gonna be extremely difficult. Number two, you have to close those leads. Number three, you have to learn the business. So it's not gonna happen overnight. It's gonna take time, especially if you don't have previous sales experience. But if you have a long-term vision for yourself, five, 10 years down the road of being in this business and doing the right things consistently and long enough, you will build a book of business that just pays you on repeat over and over again because people trust you based on your good service and track record. I left in the beginning, I became a limo driver, remember that? You but never I, told me you were a limo I became a limo driver for a couple of months because I couldn't survive anymore. I and I almost continued being a limo driver, but I came back. Before that, I was working on a startup company that didn't pan out, so I wanted to really get into real estate full-time, work for an investor, or I was already thinking about doing loans because I had a real estate meetup that I've already started. I have like 160 investors on my, that go to my real estate meetup. I have all their contact info. So I thought naturally it'd be an easy progression just to become a hard money lender. And for some reason, I, you know, I looked up online, typed in real estate, and then this popped up. The ad said to text Yanni, I texted him, and then he's like, are you in real estate? I was like, uh, not really, but kind Kinda. I told him about my meetup, he checked out my Instagram, he invited me over to the office, and basically Yanni had that same line, we're selling money, everyone needs money. I was like, oh, that's a no-brainer, I might as well give it a shot. What is this shirt? You see every person that has a birthday <laughs> color with this shirt. Thanks, you're the one we have to play. Thank you guys for celebrating my birthday, I appreciate everyone here. Yeah. Two years ago, I forgot to get him a gift, so I went on Amazon very quickly, I saw a shirt that I like, and I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna buy it. So I bought it and it came in and it was starting to make it fun of me. So I'm like, you know, from now on, every person that has a birthday in this That's company good. has to wear this shirt. We're like this band. We formed something together. Everything here just happened. Nobody planned that Greg is gonna be here. Nobody planned that Zoe is gonna be here. Nobody planned that everybody's gonna stay here. This business is not easy. Everybody knows that. Starting in this industry is a lot different. Even if you have experience at other mortgage companies, because first you have to get used to the programs that you have. You have to get used to how they work and what the qualifiers on them. And that happens in every job. But this isn't the same as a VA or a Fannie Freddie lender or anything like that. When we're talking about commercial loans, when we're talking about hard money, when we're talking about uh, construction loans, you're competing with less, but they're a lot more savvy. They're a lot smarter. So you gotta adapt and that not everybody can do it. Sometimes it takes people a long time to find success. It's not easy, it's, it's a little hard, it's challenging, especially in this market today because the rates are high and you know, banks are not doing what they used to do, but it's a challenging job. I mean, anybody who wants to do it can do it. When I started, it was hard. I'm not gonna say it was easy. When I started with Yanni back in uh, 2013, when I came back into the industry, it was hard. The first time that I closed a loan, I think it was like four months or five months after I started with him. I had more knowledge, but I didn't have the contacts. Marketing yourself again from the beginning, this year I'm in California, first time. I don't know anybody here. And the way I did it is by going to networking events. Me and Yanni, I think we used to go twice a week to networking events here in LA. And that's how people started to know me. If you're starting, they get to know people in the industry because people know each other. I'm fighting myself. You think that I'm not fighting, but believe me, I'm fighting. When I don't have deals, I get stressed out. I get panicked. I was like, oh shit. I don't have deals, what am I gonna do now? I need to bring some deals to the table. My deals are more lucrative right now, so it's feeding the office. You stressed out, I'm stressed out. In a different place, but I'm stressed out too. Because when, when I started HML, I met him within maybe two, three months. Then he came and we start creating the story, the memories, the, the experience, everything we did together, him and I, you know? Lynette, I've been chasing her since I love. When I started, remember I didn't make any money? Uh, everybody there used to make fun of me, like, Yanni, who, who is Yanni? And I had like this small cubicle over there. Nobody paid attention to me. But you know what? I wanted it so bad. And within, you know, like a few months, the people start noticing. This is the Yanni that we're asking about. You know, I start doing my own thing. If you're not gonna fight here, you're gonna fight somewhere else. It's gonna be the same exact fight. You're fighting for financial freedom. You're fighting for success. You're fighting to, to enjoy life. You know, you're not gonna go anywhere else that you can make this kind of money. I'm telling you. Look at Johnny, Johnny started making money, where is he going to make this kind of money? And Johnny is smart, 
Well, it's true what Yanni said is that there's a lot of places that you can work where you can make some decent money. And a lot of places might have a draw, maybe a, month, a monthly salary while you're making commission, but that hinders how much you can make. Now, when you talk about a commission only job, the sky's the limit because you get what you put in and you get a lot more in terms of uh, income. If you close a million dollar loan with a salary, you're only gonna make so much money on that loan. But if you close a million dollar loan commission only, you can make 40 grand. And that's a lot more than you would make with a salary job. I never seen this kind of money anywhere else. And I tried different things. Wanted to see, maybe I can do other things in life. Try nothing, nothing works. Loans, money comes in all the time. Cash flow, cash flow. People need you because you sell money. That's actually what hooked me when I saw the job listing. I saw one of your videos and he said, you're selling money, everyone needs money. And once, once I saw that, I was like, oh, genius. Money is something that people need. So I started in December. You know, the first month I was trying to figure it out, figure out what the processes are. Basically, I didn't close my first deal till April or May, so about four or five months later. When I first started, I gave myself a timeline. I was like, I need to make a deal happen and get some income by March, or I gotta leave and find something else. And I, I didn't get that till March. But that deal, I had it within the first two months, but it took two months to close. I was just waiting for that paycheck. But after that first one, that's when it was like, okay, you got the deal, and now you know how to do it. Just repeat it. So after that, uh, within a month after, I got my second deal. And then a month ago, I closed two deals week after week. And then currently I have three deals in escrow. So I'm really starting to like understand how it works and understand how to get deals, how to find borrowers, how to cater to their needs and get their deals funded. I fought for your deal right now in Florida. We didn't make it happen, but I fought for it, right? Yep. Within hours, you heard from me. I sent a guy over in Florida to check the property. Johnny got me this deal in, in Thousand Oaks two weeks ago. I went there the next day, early in the morning. It's eight o'clock in the morning. We're meeting there with Johnny in Thousand Oaks. We went there, we figured something out to put it together. Now we're drawing dots on it. Johnny, it's $400,000 long. Johnny was like, listen, I think we're gonna be good charging you like four points. I'm like, okay, so when I talk to the guy on the phone, I want Johnny to make money. I'm not gonna do it for anything less than $30,000. I don't care how many points it is. And he's doing it for $30,000. That's like nine points. And who's making the money? Mr. Johnny Cash. I'm gonna do the same thing for you. What did I do with your loan? With me also. What was you it? You the point instead of uh, <laughs> three and a half, four and a half. It's the hard money. If it's homeowners, yeah, you screw them, you don't look good. But it's business people. They make a dollar, you make a dollar. They make two dollars, you make two dollars. Yeah.